everyone and welcome back to City Skylines and welcome back to Flow City. Yeah, today I want to continue here at my new industry zone. I want to build a high-tech industry area. But before I want to quickly show you something I just created, I um, next to my peer mod I designed or modeled this little parking lot here <laughs> of course i did not model these trees and these cars they are just props i added to my asset uh, basically i just uh, modeled this little nice green area here oh let's go to ground level and yeah it, it's nothing big uh, but i did this for my peer mod I'm working on, uh, for this mod I still need to learn a lot about uh, 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 the yeah, about how to create asset for a game. Um, and I decided to start this little side project because I wanted to figure out how the uh, uh, specular maps and normal maps and also the colors of my textures work and behave here in, in City Skylines. For example, the City Skylines it changes the color of uh, my textures uh, pretty much. So, but yeah, this. This helps me to figure out how I need to set up uh, everything in Photoshop. Um, and yeah, I hope you like this. And uh, I decided to do this or to, to quickly model a parking lot um, because uh, for two other reasons. The first one, since I started to design all these little green areas and parks here uh, manually directly with the, with the props, uh, by the way, I, I downloaded a bunch of additional trees and brushes, as you can see, brushes. Um, since I do this, I really had a, a quite a bit of problem to boost the entertainment in my city, especially for this industry area. They also need parks and other stuff like that to to be to be happy. Um, I needed something something else that I can place everywhere and then can boost the the entertainment uh, so I, I come to the conclusion a parking lot is a good idea because you can put this everywhere and with the surface painting tool you can uh, um, you can pretty easy uh, match this with your layout and the second reason is I wanted a asset uh, that made it possible to create larger parking areas uh, yeah pretty quick much quicker than all putting this down these all single lots manually and then putting some decorations around this some trees and all that I wanted to uh, be more efficient with that so uh, this parking lot um, can be also rotated and placed completely free in your city because of this so you can rotate this in every way you want it's not necessary to put this next to road despite that i added parking markers to these lots as well uh, they do actually work when you put these parking lots next to a road but it is not necessary uh, yeah, let me quickly just demonstrate this how these guys work. Let's say you want a, a huge parking lot area somewhere in your city. You can just quickly uh, take these parking lots. Ooh. They are they are here. So and as I as I said, you can rotate these guys as you want, put them as you want especially when you turn on the road anarchy. So let's just orientate them this way. So let's quickly build a row of them. For more variety, you can rotate these guys uh, 180 degrees. These parking lots are perfectly symmetric. So then these uh, cars, car props are already added. Uh, they are not symmetric, so there and then you will have more variety with these cars. So yeah, uh, I have both here. You know, uh, I, like I said, I have parking markers. Let's just turn this off for a second. Uh, markers for parking. 
and car props. So these empty spaces will fill up with par uh, cars over time if you put this next to the road. But there's always kind of a base load of cars on these parking lots. That's the reason why I took these car props and uh, added them right to the asset. Okay, uh, let's just quickly continue this. Uh, if I put this here, for example. All right. So now we pretty much created a, a, a parking area. Now we just need to take the surface tool, for example, to fill these little gaps. Probably put these guys a bit too close together. But yeah, for this demonstration, it is okay. So, and you have right now, pretty quick, a nice big parking lot in your city. And yeah, this is also, this is the, the second reason why I wanted a, a asset like this. Uh, probably uh, uh, there is already something like this up on the Steam Workshop. I don't know. Um, like I said, I, I, uh, this was also quite a kind of a, a way how to learn to work with the textures and normal maps and specular maps and all that kind of stuff. So, but if you're interested in and want to use this little parking lot thing, it's nothing super cool, but maybe this will help uh, a few of you guys with your city. Uh, I will put a link into the uh, um, video description below. This mod or asset should be already up on the Steam Workshop when you watch this episode. So you can download this and use this in your city. All right, so, um, yeah. I want to continue now here in my city. Like I said, I want to build a high tech, um, a high tech industry area, and I want to start with this little piece here. This is kind of a very uh, a special area, I would say, because from here, this is the main entrance to this industry area. So when you uh, come from the freeway and or from this this avenue, you will always uh, cross this this area here. So I want something pretty special here. And I, I think I had a good idea. I want to add or I want to place the solar power plants or well, one solar power plant over here because I'm not really, really happy with the solar power plants over here at the moment, how I added them there. They do not really match to the rest of the area so I think this is a way cooler place for this let's quickly just add this I think yeah we need to turn on the road anarchy because I think it will not fit otherwise yeah let's just let's just plop this thing down great Perfectly fits in this area. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, now I need to add more decorative stuff to this, and I will. This will take a while, so I will do this in time lapse right now.
Okay, yeah, this was quite a long <laughs> time lapse, and yeah, I finally added the solar power plant over here with some new <laughs> parking lots, and I also added this little, yeah, relay station. So from here I can uh, uh, start to draw the power lines across my city. Uh, I hope you like this, put a lot of work into this, a lot of new details, <laughs> and um, yeah, let me just quickly uh, connect the power lines to somewhere, and then I'm going to continue here with a bit of high-tech industry. All right. Okay, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as you may have noticed, I come to the conclusion it's probably not a good idea to build these power lines right uh, inside of oak trees. <laughs> so I, I just moved a few trees away from these power lines and yeah, that's, that's it. My solar power plant is now uh, uh, connected. Yeah. Everything is 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 uh, is blue, is in this blue shape. So everything should be connected, and that means I can uh, probably just move this guy away. Here I can probably bulldoze bulldoze this. Yeah. So let's quickly check the power lines. Um, these are connected right here to this, and this is the one I just connected to my new solar power plant. Yeah, it should be safe to demolish this. And I also want to remove that. Uh, let's just to make sure that everything will work. Let's just expand this for the moment. Um, but yeah, anyway, I am going to uh, um, demolish everything here as well. I, I already started to remove parts of my industry zone because I want to completely redesign this area as well because it doesn't look really really good you know it doesn't look really like a like actual industry area I think uh, the biggest problem is that these most of these buildings are just too too small and they are just a built in row and uh, industry zones doesn't look like this they are much more larger structure there is much more room between them, and there are parking lots, uh, trucks, and loading docks, and and all that kind of stuff, storage areas. So I want to build more of that stuff. So, but I will I will not completely do an a, a a a complete different layout. So I think I will work with these both shapes in the end. But yeah, however. Um, let's let's just start with some industry here. Uh, as you have seen at the beginning of this episode, I already added a couple of industry, high-tech industry-like buildings. It will be a bit difficult, high-tech industry, but because there's not so much stuff around, uh, and 
I, I, it should look high tech, but not futuristic, you know. So, uh, but I found a few things in the workshop, and probably I can use the eyedropper tool to get a few of these buildings because they are they are uh, kind of mm, yeah high tech enough, you know. I just don't want to have uh, these these little small things here right here okay so uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to add some some storages uh, because yeah uh, it's it's high-tech industry area but I don't want to I don't want it to be like I said too futuristic so I, I want to also add some more uh, yeah, uh, storage buildings are kind of like that. Uh, they some yeah, that looks yeah realistic actually like like a a an almost today's storage building. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. I think it was not very well explained. Um, let's go to the ploppable ricos and. I added some of these warehouses. They are quite huge. They are quite huge. They have a realistic scale for a industry building. And I want to build them right here. Probably with a bit of room. Yes. Okay. It barely fits. It barely fits. Uh, probably my row of trees doesn't make that much sense anymore. I'm actually I consider to leave uh, to abandon this this asset I created a a, 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 a huge while back because it, it doesn't it was good at the time when I created this and it is still good to have these row of trees left and right from this avenue but probably I going to completely also um, rethink this probably I going to rebuild this with the the trees I just downloaded not I'm not sure something like that I will I will just think about this so uh, yeah and now we can add some details to these guys um, and yeah let's do let's do a last time lapse and I think then we are then we are done with this episode for today yeah <laughs>
All right, okay, I think this is enough for today. Um, this episode is already quite long, two hours. <laughs> Hopefully I can wrap this up a bit. Uh, there's uh, still a little bit of work left to do. I need to finish the fences here, but yeah, I definitely need this mod that allows you to just uh, build uh, um, props in a row automatically. So this is a, this is, just a waste of time to put this around here um, yeah so this is the first part of my industry area so uh, this here could be some kind of uh, uh, liquid gas storage facility or something like this and these are my other storages and yeah so I think in the next episode I'm going to continue and I'm going to fill this area uh, for today I would say we're good. I managed to build quite a lot over here with quite a lot of details. So I hope you like it. And uh, remember, if you want to use my uh, my super awesome <laughs> uh, parking lot, there's a link in the video description below. I know it, it's nothing too big, nothing super fancy, but if you like it, I... Uh, would pre uh, it's really um, sorry let's say it again if you like it uh, uh, please leave a, leave a good rating I really appreciate this uh, so yeah thank you very much for watching and let's have a cool view across the area we just finished today and goodbye